Okay, guys. Yep, quality is going to be pretty crap. I'm doing this on my iPad because at the moment I truly, I will like this boy, yeah, bring it in, zoom in. Okay, let's make the rule, yeah. no moving. Mm -hmm. But anyway, sorry, you know, the quality of this is, is not going to be great. I'm just going to flick another light on here so that I might be able to get some lighter going on my guy here. And there you go. This is Jack, who is going to make his way over to my couch here. Jack is my coastal, so six years old he is. Now, I'm just doing this video because, you know, I haven't yet done one I made a channel and I've not done it and I've, I'm you know I'm not really set up yet to start but I wanted to get the ball rolling with a video because you know I, I want people to see that I have extremely curious guys gals and guys actually well I have one gal and two guys Jack's a male and he is just a sweetheart is the only way I can explain sorry finger over the lens as you can see he's chocolate brown lighter browns olive um yeah, I love his colour. Um, he is... Uh, he, he, I don't even know, you know, what I was going to do my videos about, what I was going to actually talk about. Do I set an agenda? Do I, you know, do it by script? Or do I just do it by impulse? Something's happening. Let's Can you? let's do a film. I'll try and find so uh, anyway, this talk is talk by no means. Um, this was impromptu. Uh, Jack wanted out. Jack came out. So I decided to just do a quick video, just to get it going, just to put one up. Um, you know, I will talk about care of and how I care for my guys. Um, and what I do with them and what I let them do, which is whatever they want to do. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't physically spend a lot of time with them in my hands or hanging off me. Yep, Jack comes with me and we. I make a cup of tea. I, um, you know, he hangs around with me and, um, you know, my grandchildren are talking in the background, um, which is going to be probably an, a pretty average sort of event unless I happen to be here on my own. Um, yeah, all my grandchildren have been around these guys and vice versa. These guys have been around my grandchildren. Jack is just so tolerant and has never ever attempted to tag or do anything. As you can see, Lily is just making her head up. She's just putting it back down and up and she's checking out. She's, I've just put her back in. She was up, up, which you can't see it's dark, but yeah. They have an area, yeah, right up here. But they have an area where they climb, where they go and they hang out. And Lily actually will come out during Turn the day and um, she'll sleep up there for three, four hours. Um, and she's happy to hang up there for three I or four hours. See. I And I let her do it. Um, 
my guys get a lot of mm. exercise they come out they go up over the windowsill they check everything out there they go up up onto my un on to their enclosures go across and over and over stuff and through stuff and and up, oh. up the hammocks and up the top there <coughs> yes I do hold them um as well so you know they do get some handling but you know they they come out <coughs> my goodness some days i think jack mooches at his window and he he tells me i want out <coughs> um they especially do it if they want to go to the toilet um, my guys do not do their dirty stuff in their enclosures. They they are frantic when they need to go to the toilet. And I know I can tell by their behaviour and what they're doing. Here comes Jack out and about. Um, and if it's night time and dark and of course cold or it's pouring rain, I've actually bought puppy pads. And I'll put that down and you know when they're going to go to the toilet they lengthen themselves out they get their head as far away from their butt as they possibly can and they stop dead still and they don't move because I guess they're concentrating and then I'll see their tails start to jiggle and jangle and oh yeah and generally though they've got their butt on the puppy pad so it works well but otherwise I, I take them outside and I take them outside every day when it's nice and sunny even if it's I can only fit in 10-15 minutes each with them I, I still do it um, I think it's extra exercise Ooh. it's fresh air it's sunshine and I don't have UV be lighting in my enclosures at this point in time some people think they need it other people think that they don't i personally i like the factor that they have that but if you take them outside every day and get natural sunlight on them then i'm not worried about that at all um you know my little guy I have a little jungle is only a couple of years old he has UVB lighting he hasn't really been coming outside yet um, that's not too far away um, either oh, at least at least four. so anyway this is just very brief as you can see that they they go into places where they should not go um, but Jack is pretty good. He's like, well, no, I don't go under there and I don't go here. and But he still tries every now and again. Um, so this is pretty much their room. And this is where I hang with them and I do things with them. And uh, okay, so just a really brief video. I will definitely be looking at doing certain topics, you know, not a lot of the, the care care. Um, and I'm not talking just about heating, lighting, enclosure sizes, um, feeding. Um, it's not just about that. I, I want to talk about lots of other things to do with deciding to... <coughs> go buy yourself a snake um there's so much more to it they are individuals with individual personalities and they will show you their personality um aggressive nasty little individuals absolutely not um they are my best buddies and um, they have been a pure source of stress relief at times company and yes I talk to my snakes I talk to them all of the time people think I'm crazy weird um, but 
when you know my snakes and see their temperament and the way they interact and um, you'll see the benefits of having that sort of a relationship with your reptile, snake, lizard, whatever. Um, you put in the time, you show them that you care, that they're safe, that you are their, their person that looks after them. Um, you know, I'll explain a little bit to you about you um, the way they drink and um, other things that some people might find, 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 find a little weirdo. You know. um, but it's not. Um, it's just the way I have developed. Um, you know, my animals don't mind each other. Although... My dog will move because a snake is sniffing around his foot and it's not that Jack would bite him. Um, unfortunately, I have one hand, so I'll hand this to my granddaughter who can um, help me out. Um, you know, I, I try not to let my guys feel insecure and, and that's because... You know they have a back and they have bones in their back and um, you've got to support them um, properly you don't want to damage anything mr. Um, mr. curious man is going over the top and he's giving my granddaughter a kiss which you can't see um, and he's going back um, she might be able to swing that around, um, swing that around, so it's facing you. Um, so... Oh, you can't. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, doll. <laughs> oh, see, I still don't really know anything. But anyway, Jack is crawling all over the iPad <laughs> right now. <laughs> um... He's curious about this. He's like, what is well, this? Well, uh, uh, yeah. It's a, just a support system to go where he wants to actually get to. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, now you get to see me, which is not, yeah, me is the last thing you want to see. But anyway, so far, Jack, beautiful, beautiful baby boy that he is. Um, great nose scratching device. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he loves, absolutely loves to hang with me and come when I make my cup of tea. Sometimes I've actually had to sit on a toilet with him <laughs> if I have to, yes. And he doesn't really seem to mind at all. I do, you know, I'm generally here on my own. Jack isn't a massive boy, but believe me, he's a big, strong fella. So, you know, I'm very, I'm aware, you know, I don't let him wrap around my neck. I keep him to the front of me um, or to the side of me. You know, he, he'll go back around this way and he'll sit this way with his head and check things out and has actually even gone to sleep up there um, on my shoulders. Um, but anyway, guys... More to come, you know, I'm not expecting massive likes or subscribes. I, I don't really understand the whole concept of this um, YouTubing. First go, uh, you know, if you've got anything you want to say to me, um, you know, and if you've, sometimes, you know, I know people can get relatively mean on on these sites and I'm just going to ignore that um, and uh, and there's nothing I can do to to do anything about that anyway um, but if you like it um, please let me know um, you want me to do a video on anything specific and I will as time goes on get specific but I just wanted to kick it off, get my first video on, show you Jack today, 
Of course, I'll show you Lily, my jungle, and I have a Jesse, who's a jungle. He's a couple of years old. Um, I'm Noah going... would be doing some of the videos yeah. with him. Yeah, and um, you know, I've got a few little issues with him um, that. You know, I would like somebody to say, why don't you try this or try that? I mean, I have two uh, older snakes that uh, have got no problems going on. And um, so it's a little bit weird for me to have a snake that's a little bit strange. And I won't say too much more, but you'll see. So, so this isn't too long. I'll say bye. If you like, like. If you want to subscribe, I'll try and get videos on on a more regular basis. Um, so, I will catch you later. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye.